I am the Dollar Sportsman, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am in beautiful Wyoming today, and for the next few days, we'll be going after prairie dogs and possibly some coyotes if we get the chance to call them in. I'm here with Varminter Magazine. We're having a blast with Stag Arms rifles. Mine's in Six Arc, his is in 224 Valkyrie. We'll see how it goes. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this. Uh, YouTube does shadow ban my channel, so that makes it very difficult for me to grow. You guys sharing this will help me to grow faster, and I really appreciate it. So we've got the Stag Covenant. You have seen this on my channel before. It is a six millimeter arc, 18 inch barrel with VG6 gamma on the front of it. Uh, this thing is very, very accurate. We're sighted in at 100 yards in Wyoming weather. It is very windy out here. So we'll have to keep that in mind for holds as we look for these rascally little prairie dogs. I do have a Athlon Optics Helos uh, 6 to 24 on this, and it is a very excellent scope, very clear. I've really appreciated using this. We also have uh, an upgraded BCM charging handle in the back there from uh, r, r Tactical. So very special thank you to r, &R Tactical and uh, for hooking me up with that, as well as the mount and uh, some of the little accessories that we've got on here. All in all, I've been very impressed with this rifle, so now we're gonna take it hunting, and we're gonna see what we can get. Follow along, hopefully we have a good time. And uh, we've got these major storms coming, so hopefully we don't get too wet. I got him if you're ready. How did I miss that? Where was it missing? It went through his chest. It went through his chest? I was trying to figure out how I missed. You did the first time you did. Second time you hit him right in the chest because I saw the, the fur move. You'll see it in the video. Hit him dead in the chest and he just crawled into the hole. Man. So this hit him right where I was aiming. He's aiming for the lungs, heart. Pierced him right there and just zipped right through him. But uh, yeah, there we go. 100 yards. Stag arms, six arc. We can go a little further out. I think we should try. Definitely. That's your first one with the arc, right? First one with the arc, right there. Awesome. Okay, so we just pulled up to this area and we are seeing prairie dogs at 330 yards, 311 yards. So Eric's setting up his, uh, his bench and we are going to uh, do some long pokes. See, see how we do. So I'm hoping after that 100 yard one, I'm, I'm struggling to understand how I missed the first shot, but the second shot was dead money, right, right in the chest trying to preserve their heads so we can get the skulls off of them. Um, however, the ammo did just kind of zip through it, so I'm wondering if I should do headshots or just let the boiler room just, you know, vitals, let the vitals go. Not sure. So we'll see what we can do. See him in the camera? You are recording, yep, I got him. He knows it's coming. Got him. You flipped him over, he is dead. Good shot. Works a lot better when you're not holding for wind. I got 323.6, hit it with this. Here, you can sit here. There's another one up on that same mound, dude. Yeah, and you're gonna go for it with your gun. <sighs> to help with my... Safety was off. Got it. All right, 320 yards. Firing. Looks like 
To the right? Um, possibly. Right. Nailed him. Got him. 320 yards, six arc, six arc. stag arms. You want to move? I, I want to actually collect. Yeah, let's do it. Everything, do all that stuff. Deal. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm doing the same. Oh, wow. He took his, he took his guts out good, man. That is 224 Valkyrie. There's one. One, that's Norris. Where'd it hit? Shoulder? Right there. Right, there. right oh, in the shoulder. That's a nice one. Where's the second yeah, one? We might have to go over. digging. Look, there's blood back here and blood down the hole. So he's down the hole. Your door's open. 340 and 327. There he is. Holy cow. <laughs> Dude. Okay, I want you to arrange my forerunner. The passenger side front door. Look at that shot. Good. So, 327. 327. 342 times two. Yep. Um, that, was, that was tough in the wind. Yep, wind and very hard to get good readings on, you know, with your uh, range finder because it's so flat out there, it's hitting bits of sage. And that's the way it is always when you're varmint hunting. But this in particular, it looked like they were on a rise when they weren't. It was just a little mound and another little mound like that. So our readings were off by what? like. Mine was 25 yards. yards off. Yeah, 25 yards. I mean, it was it was quite different. So, but no, with mine, I'm shooting the Stag Arms, uh, Stag 15 in 224 Valkyrie, and I'm shooting the 69 grain uh, Prairie Enemy ammo from Sierra, and that's using their 69 grain Sierra Blitz King. So this is the Hornady Black ammo, 105 grain, um, shooting the 18 inch six arc. Stag with an Athlon scope, Helos BTR, 6x24, um, very clear, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was accurate once we figured out the wind. The wind was a hard part. And this Stag Arms is different. His is the Covenant, which is a newer model, and this one's older. I've had this one, you know, since about a year or two after the Valkyrie came out, so we're, we're saying about eight years, six, eight years. And then uh, I'm shooting with the Rhydon scope, one of the old models. Um, I've got a new Concord that's probably gonna end up on this for a while too. That's one of their new models that's coming out. So we'll have more information on that too, at least I will. But yeah, these are good shots. Um, what's kind of odd is you're gonna see the other prairie dogs from different areas. These guys were really light. In fact, Nor hit one. Yeah, look at this. That's just, it's gorgeous. It's a cool looking prairie dog. And if it was probably a little bit colder, I would, make a full body mount maybe leave it for going in a coyote mount you know for a mount with that it would look really cool so so that's that's another interesting point is that the varmint rounds blew this one apart right yeah. whereas the black even though they have a hollow tip it didn't blow these apart nearly as much it was a clean hole through through and through dropped him like that so he he died without issue and then this one it just took the whole front of it off shooting sideways yeah. but it didn't do as much damage to the pelt these are doing great longer range i mean our hold for the wind once we had it figured out we were actually um estimating the hold too much so yeah. we were shooting into the wind too much once we kind of just held either right on the edge or right on it i mean especially with the arc those bullets you know the way they're designed and everything like that out of the arc and the way the cartridge is designed really sleek and gets out there you know they're 105 grains and then with these varmint bullets the 69 hold their energy and like Nora was saying when I hit this one I mean it blew it up I'm not gonna flip it over but I mean <laughs> it, it really took it out and put everything all over the bushes around it and everything so and that was only you know what 23 yards less than where these were so it's cool my rangefinder is 25 yards off right so I I was holding one and a half mils and it was too high, it went right above it, right? So then I dropped it to about 1.3 and nailed it right on. I also missed when I held at all for wind. 
So I was holding on right edge because we had right to left wind. That missed right hurt. by it. Yeah. And then when I held dead on, this bucks the wind so well that it just nailed them both. Yeah, and for the guy saying, well, in your ballistics calculator, why didn't you put in the wind? You can't out here. One second is dead. I mean, this is Wyoming. It's always windy, but one second is dead, and the next second is blowing. It's blowing from one direction, the other direction. You cannot judge that stuff. It's something you have to kind of do on the fly. And that's when paying attention, you know, either yourself when you're shooting, which on low recoil rounds like the Arc and the Valkyrie are really good. You can see where you're shooting, where you're hitting. Um, or having a spotter, which we did, we spotted for each other, is really handy because you can correct just on the fly and make adjustments and boom, make your kills. There we go. Yep. Good Thank night. you, sir. We're going to do some more. Keep watching for part two of the Wyoming Varmint Bash 2022 with Varminter Magazine and Stag Arms, Athlon Optics, and Hornady. Yes! <laughs> you guys excited? Yes. Excited. Yeah! No, it's certainly thrilling. I guess it part. was. This is going to be a fun adventure. Yeah. Well done. That was awesome. <laughs> Did you see that? Woo! Yeah! You can do this. Get out there. Let's go do this. Woo! He's so fired up. This guy. I love oh, this guy. Absolutely.